what's up? It is Gasly here, and it's been a while, hasn't it? Hi, I hope everybody is doing well and enjoying the beginning of fall. I am so excited for that. But basically, what I am doing in today's video is going through and rebuilding the apartment that we have here. I can't remember who I kicked out of it, or I don't, I don't think I actually killed them. So they, I mean, honestly, they made it out lucky, right? Like, <laughs> poor Sergio. But we have our vampire boys that I created because I don't really ever play on any of the occult or like the realm of magic or any of those. I haven't even done the uh, jungle adventure, like the actual story in that one. I did the Strangerville because it was like very Stranger Things and I freaking love that show. So that one, I was like on top of playing that one. But all the other packs, like I play with like the building stuff, but not the actual gameplay of it. So I'm like, well, why don't I make a a couple of vampires for spooky season so we have our brothers here and I put them in this apartment in Evergreen Harbor but it doesn't really match their personality that well it is a tiny tiny little apartment so it wouldn't take that long to <laughs> redecorate but it just doesn't match like this I, I guess like maybe um, Colin Robinson would live here if you are a fan of like I should make a Colin Robinson apartment that would be fun but we need to update this and I did recently get the um, industrial loft pack I completely forgot that the pack was released I feel like they come out so frequently that like they've almost lost the magic of like oh hey there's a new sims pack coming out like oh yeah that's like every other week but so of course I definitely wanted to check Ooh, I like that that is cute but yeah, I just wanted to kind of check out the industrial loft pack and did I not do... Definitely want to put move objects on for this. Actually, anytime I build. I don't think I've ever built something. Like, that is one cheat. I'm not really that big on the money cheats and stuff, but like the building cheats, I have to have those. Okay, so I just want to get these guys a little bit of a different looking. Just take all that out of there. Just redo it all. It's not that bad. Like their windows look kind of like mausoleum. I mean, it does kind of look like they're in a mausoleum or like a sauna, maybe. <laughs> Is that wood or? I don't know. I think it's wood. I always thought it was like brown tile, but I guess it's wood. So this is like the paneling of the Sims world. <laughs> it's like bougie paneling though. Okay. Get rid of those grids. I hate that. Like, I hate it. A super fuzzy fuzz rug. Yes, don't mind if I do. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Okay. Are there any beds? I thought that there was like the big... I thought that it had like the big cool, um, kind of like that, but like, no, I know I'm not losing, like, there was a bed, that was like one of the main drawing points for me, was I was interested in that bed. I really liked that bed. That was like the main thing I was interested in. Oh my god, what, like, what? 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 Can we change? <laughs> I guess I kind of like the orange though it kind of like mismatchy matches right <laughs> it's like it's eclectic <laughs> okay well, how about what oh that's that's a very small bedroom okay well they're vampires what do they need okay you know what let's get him Oh, that's cute. Okay, well, that's cute. I like that a lot. I'll just get them a little TV like that. And there we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's gotta go. That, I don't know if he'll have room. These rooms are so tiny. You know, why don't I just... 
if you hold down shift and click like that, it will um, copy whatever it is that you are holding. So that's kind of a helpful little tip there. Um, yeesh. <laughs> what kind of, oh no, it's an apartment, so I can't. Uh, well, I mean, there are grown men that have like a vampire seduction powers. So I don't think that, uh, I'll say because of who I am as a person and how I play my game, I don't think that a single bed is a good idea for my Sims either. So, um, it's just gonna be a tight squeeze in there. That's okay. They're vampires. They're, I mean, they're used to like coffins. Hey, do they have like a two person coffin? That'd be kind of cool. That's like a goth romance. No. <laughs> like wasting all their money on coffins like hold up a discomfort oh a discomfort relief I'm like why does it have a discomfort <laughs> and yes it is absolutely always this chaotic when I am building or doing pretty much anything <laughs> that is me I am chaos unfortunately doesn't work out too well usually but See? You can use the bracket keys to size up or size down when you're building. And I'm sure for a lot of people who've been playing for a while, it's like, duh, we already knew that. But, I don't like that carpet. But, you know, for somebody who's new to the game and might not know it, it might help. So, I like kind of adding little tips like that when I think about it. Oh, I didn't even know we had that. I like that. I'd really like to build a Mexican restaurant, but I feel like it's been done so many times and not like in a bad way, but like there are so many awesome ones on the gallery right now that like it wouldn't even like, I couldn't even do it justice. So it's like, why bother? But definitely a lot of really cool um, Mexican restaurants to check out. And it's too big, of course, but that's okay. Cause we can size it down and wait. like that color. That one's okay. Well, yeah, that works. Okay. But, I don't know if I like that color. like that. Also, if you want to free move something, you hold down the alt key when you, um, when you pick it up. Or, if you have, say you have something that you want to, like, I wanted to, like, rotate the angle of this bed a little bit. You would click on the camera icon there and then go to Sims 3 camera, click on it, hold the alt, wait, no, click on it, hold the alt key, and you can move it like not, it's not as locked, I guess, as it would be, that noise, <laughs> it's not as locked as it would be with the other camera. See, with this one, you have to do it with the mouse button. But with the Sims 3, you can kind of drag it to get exactly the position you want it to be on. So that's another little tip there. Like, oh no, I just wanted it. There we go. Did I even get it like on the wall? Yes, I did. Okay. So he needs like a painting or something over his bed. Something vampire-y. What would Nandor do? <laughs> yeah, vampires travel a lot, right? Because they have to like run away when they like drain the blood of all the villagers and you know, vampire stuff. Okay, the couch has got to go. I actually do feel the need to make them a Colin Robinson now, like <laughs> at least maybe like a Guillermo. They need something. They're basically their story is they're, I think they're like Russian vampires. Is that a thing? They seemed very Russian, especially when I made uh, Miles. So here is Miles, and he's like a little bit of a psychopath. Um, he's really into like the homicide part of being a vampire. And then his brother Al is more the, like the brains of the operation, I guess. He likes reading a lot, and he likes like, you know, he's like one of the snobby vampires, basically. <laughs> the ones that you wanna like punch in the face. and. Miles is more the kind you probably want to run away from. He's, he's an interesting feller. 
Oh, that's cute. Does it come in different colors? And that's from the new one, right? Yeah. I like that. It's a good neutral couch, and that's something we need a lot of in The Sims, because there's a I am like mad talking shit about The Sims, and I don't mean to. Like, I have been playing these games for since they came out. <laughs> I'm such a huge fan. Like, I'm definitely not. I love that green. Okay, that's yeah. That is really cute. The texture is really good too. Well, I'm not an expert or anything, but I like it. Of course, I have to use this carpet because I use it in every build. <laughs> like, I don't. I. It's just like I have to now. Ooh, it doesn't match that floor. Can we change the floor to new apartments? I don't know. I don't think I've ever tried to. I think like every time that I do an apartment, I'm just like being super lazy. <laughs> I just want it to be done. So, oh, look at that. I can, okay. Yes, yes, okay. I much prefer the dark wood floors. And, there we go. Okay, yeah, that table has got to go, but we'll get to that eventually. I don't know if the windows being open is like, I don't know if that's gonna like fry them because I know the vampires do like burn in the, in the, uh, in the sun. I guess they need decorative stuff. What is this? Like an industrial decoration, I guess. Okay. That's not quite their style. Okay. Well, yeah, the cabinets, that can go. I don't know why, but I have to have the, um, Fancy trash can. Now we're gonna get rid of that. Also, okay. oof, they're low on money already. Do we have? No, I don't like that. Um. No. no. Maybe. <laughs> they don't need a kitchen, right? I could just take the kitchen out entirely, actually, but what would I... Oh, I guess like an office. They don't need a kitchen. That is a genius idea. I will give them an office. <laughs> like, what are they going to do with a kitchen if they don't eat food? Um, I need a vampire-y looking desk. Um, they're business vampires. <laughs> You're not going to be able to get the good computer that I like, are you? Oh yeah, you are. I like that one a lot. Okay. And get you a good chair. Oh, we gotta change that floor out too. Okay. interested to see what that does, but it doesn't look like it really belongs, you know, like, maybe, <sighs> I was going to try to make it, like, part of the rug, but, <laughs> oh, we put it under the rug, and that could be, like, a story, I think I do want to do, like, um, so, like, the comic book stuff I was doing with my other ones, I think I want to, like, fully dedicate to doing that with these guys, which, we'll see if that happens, I'm, ADHD guys it just doesn't work in my favor half the time that is humongous like humongous what is this like amoeba a puddle in fabric if that's an amoeba sir what <laughs> I should be using the vampire pack. Hmm. Have them, like have a gate to hell in there. <laughs> in there. The hell bunny. 
Sure, why not? I like it. Oh, and then put a rug over it like they're trying to hide it. Like, um, have it almost covering it. Can we? Yeah, there we go. Like they're just trying to hide this gate to hell they got going on here. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I like the, I like the green. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, I guess that, oh, no, hang on. That, that can go. Yeah, I kind of like that wallpaper, like, everywhere. Because then it's like there, it does look like a mausoleum. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Perfect. Much more vampire-y. So now I guess we just need to oh no wait that's yeah that's right okay never mind I'm stupid <laughs> I guess we just need to uh, decorate so let's get to it see everybody talks so much smack about the Star Wars pack but they give you cool stuff like that I mean that's totally worth the ten dollars in my book okay so I think that we are done with their apartment so let me Whoop, too far <laughs> Okay, so let's just go for a little tour here. Ah, the grid lines. Actually, let me go back into. I'm a mess. Okay. So I actually have brought the brothers here to the apartment, but we'll just ignore them for now. <laughs> so that's why they're there. Okay, so starting at the front door. And I wanted to do kind of like a... I'm not really bad at this. <laughs> a modern vampire look. And of course, what would modern vampires do besides message people on the computer? Because, you know, you're a vampire and you got better things to be doing, but sure, okay. <laughs> Alright, so then going through here, just a little shelf and a bathroom, nothing too special there. All right, and then we go over here. We have bedroom number one. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay, and then going over here for bedroom number two. Oh, and then we're there. <laughs> we just like nope, our way through the wall there. I really wish that there was like a way to be more in control of where this goes, but. I mean, I guess get good would be. And there's the other bedroom. Where is, where the heck did Miles go? Let's see here. Oh, I bet he's outside. Of course we have our fire extinguisher and our little plants. Cause I can't like, I, I just can't build a house with adding, without adding like 500 plants. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Are you out here? Are you like standing out in the sun like an idiot? Probably. There you are. Alright. There's our other little vampire brother there. Ooh, with this soup. Of course. He's, of course he's flirting. I swear that is like so his personality. Where am I going? I'm like so lost. Okay. So I think we go out here. Oh, so they can't get into their house from the inside. That's crazy. Okay. All right. Well, that sir, sir, what, what are you even doing? Like, really? <laughs> what? Explain yourself, sir. That is not. I didn't. 
even... That's like the serial killer outfit, isn't it? I did not put that outfit on you. Wow. So you're just gonna hang out? You know you're a vampire. You don't really... You don't really need the, the gun, but... Yeah, we're just gonna have the gun there. Okay. What are you looking up huh? ways to hide bodies? I mean... You're a vampire, you should know what you're doing there. Okay. Well, <laughs> that is it for this. Oh. So that is it for this episode, and I will see you guys later. Bye.